Okay, what we have here is an Xbox 360 with a red ring error. E73 error, which is going to be caused by the GPU, and we will be reflowing the GPU on the Berg 3000. This unit's got a lot of dust build up in it, which probably has was the cause of the uh, E73 uh, report ventilation, so we're going to clean that out too. Okay, I've got the uh, motherboard secured down to the work area. I'm going to apply a little bit of flux around the outside of the chip. And brush around the chip. Protect the board while we're heating it. And a little on top. It's optional to move, remove the epoxy if you want. You don't really need to. I have uh, done quite a few of these and found it not really isn't necessary to take the epoxy off because the reflow will work fine. But that's optional. It's entirely up to you. Okay, the chip's ready for reflow now. Okay, the board's in place on the machine. Uh, settings are bottom heating temperature is set to max out at 185 Celsius. And I have this top temperature set a little bit higher because I don't want to keep changing the temperature back and forth. Uh, I go higher if I'm going to remove a chip. But the alarm is set to go off at uh, 220 Celsius, which is the area that I really want to start watching because I'm going to have to uh, do a couple of things in order to um, do the reflow correctly. <coughs> I made some heat shields out of uh, heavy duty aluminum foil tape and I'll use these to protect the RAM chips and other components on the board from being heated. One for each side. very important to protect the RAM chips because you don't want any excess heat to hit those it will cause other three red light errors place the temperature probe right on top of the chip ready to get started. First step is going to be turn on the bottom heater. I'm going to let this run for about 10 minutes. It's going to hit 185 Celsius and then I will start the reflow once we hit 185 and let it soak for about uh, 10 minutes total. Okay, we reached our uh, desired temperatures. It's been about 10 minutes since I uh, started the bottom heat. Now I'm going to start turn on the top heater and just wait. You can keep the video going so you can see the whole process. It's going to take about, I don't know, three, four minutes maybe.
Now the top heating alarm will go off at 220 Celsius and that's when I want to basically get ready to step in. And the alarm went off. Now I'm going to cut the power to the top heater and the bottom heater right at 228. And I'm going to let it dance at around 233 and I'm going to control the heat by raising the lamp a little. I want to keep it right about there for about five more seconds. I'm going to raise the lamp a little more to get a nice slow steady cool off. I want to go about one degree a second. It's all looking good. And basically right now we're just going to let it cool off for about probably a half hour and uh, fire the board up and it will work. Okay, the reflow is finished. You clean off the board. Let me move my heat shields. You clean it off with some acetone. And some mineral spirits. And a paintbrush. And the next step is going to be putting the Xbox back together and firing it up. Everything's put back in place. We're going to fire it up and we should see a successful reflow and a working Xbox 360 again. There you have a reflow using the Bird 3000.